coaching works best when people find their own answers. And so when we have a look at a mindset self-assessment on page number 19, this is why it's so important for us to move away from having a problem solver focus to a navigational coach focus because coaching works best when people find their own answers. So if you have a look at page 19, the means, what are our tools? Well, in navigational coaching, our tools are asking the questions. It's not about having the answers. It's about asking the questions. Fifthly, the coachee does the work. Who does the work? The coachee does the work. Rosita and I were in coaching session yesterday. We're doing a process. I guide Rosita through the process, but she is the one who has to rewire the mindset. Rosita is the one who's got to recall and reframe the memory. I can guide her, but there's no point in me changing my mindset for her. Not going to help her. Only going to help me. So the coach, he's got to do the work. Now, if you leave a coaching session and your task list has piled up as a result of the coaching session, that's not coaching. That's something else. If your list of to-dos gets bigger and bigger after a session, that's not coaching. That's probably consulting. As a consultant, I often leave a session with my clients and I have more things to do on my to-do list. Does that make sense? Because there's things that I have to do as a consultant. But as a coach, I should walk out there and the only thing I should be doing is sending an email to my client with tasking when it's appropriate. Does that make sense? So make sure you're not leaving the coaching session doing all of the work.